Hi guys, I'm Tara from livingonadime.com. Who are you? Jack. This is my son Jack. Today we are making apple recipes. Thank you. All right, so it's September. And I was just saying to our Facebook friends that we were at a friend's and there was two apple trees. And it's okay. And I saw all these apples on there and of course they weren't going to be used but didn't have time or anything but um i just thought oh man all these apples would make such great uh muffins and applesauce and everything so i was thinking man we need to do an apple show today so that's what we're gonna do old way steve says hi jack <laughs> say hi old way steve hey, thanks for joining us all right, so we said just don't call him on the airplane. Just don't call him on the airplane. Um, we are doing the muffins first because we're going to get those in the oven so you can see them after they're done baking. So, all right, so what's the first? Oh, this recipe here. Oh, this recipe isn't in Dining on a Dime. The applesauce muffins aren't. These are on our website, and Mike will put a link in the comment for you. Um, let me make sure. I don't think they were. Maybe they were. Hold on. I see. Let me look. One moment, please. What am I sure? The apple muffins recipe from the website. Oh, did I not put that on here? Did Do not? Okay. So Dining on a Dime, just so you know, has tons of apple recipes. So as soon as we're done making these applesauce muffins that are on livingonadime.com, I will give you some of the recipes that we have in Dining on a Dime in case, because people are interested to know what kind of things we have in there. Okay, so what's the first ingredients, Jack? Two cups of flour. Okay, so we have our flour here. Ta-da! And then, go what's go next? Down. Go ahead. One to two cups of sugar. Yep. Okay. Pour the sugar in. Right here. Okay. Very good. Now, what is this word? Four teaspoons of baking powder. Yep. Right there. Now, baking powder is totally different from baking soda. It is not even the same at all. But if you don't happen to have baking powder in Dining on a Dime, let's see, where is it? I forgot about this one. Page 301 here. If you don't have any baking powder on hand, so in Dining on a Dime, I have a baking powder substitute right here on page 301. So if you run out of baking powder, you can find it here in Dining on a Dime. This is our miscellaneous, miscellaneous recipes right here. Dining is back ordered right now, but the books should be here in about two weeks, and then I'll get shipping all the back orders. So hopefully by October 1st, you'll have your books. And there's a free menus from Dining on a Dime in there too, if you want that. Okay, what's the next one? One to two teaspoons of salt. Very good. And what's this? One to two teaspoons of cinnamon. And what's this? I actually don't know what that says. Okay, so that's not oh, one that's... to two teaspoons. That's a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then one quarter. Um, we had a question. I don't know. One I, quarter I... teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, nutmeg. Yes, a question? Sorry, Robin just says we love pears and she's saying could we just substitute pears for apples? Yes, Robin, you can just substitute pears for raw apples. I would maybe leave out the nutmeg, but everything else you could do fine. Well, I don't know. Nutmeg would probably be good. So I've already pre-mixed the nutmeg, cinnamon, and salt in here. And Jack's stir pouring it in. Okay. Now you want to stir your dry ingredients first. So stir all those. Oops. <clears throat> I need it. Did you get it all stirred? Okay, let's see. Or you can whisk it if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. Next is one egg. Okay. There we go. Very good. 
And then one and one half. One and one half cups of applesauce. Yep, and that's right here, and I got it super full, so I'm just gonna pour it in so we don't get, get it all over, okay? Is that all right, dude? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, because I spilled, let me clean up my mess just a moment here. Um, let's see, then we have one quarter. One quarter cup Margarine. Margarine melted. You can use margarine or butter. It doesn't matter. Either one is fine. And no, guys, margarine is not one molecule away from plastic. So please don't email me that. Um, I don't know where that rumor got started, but it's totally crazy. Okay, and then the last thing. Um, one half. One half cup cup chopped apples yep okay so you can either use a cooking apple or regular red delicious or gala apple I prefer these just because they're sweeter but they do get mushier when you're baked goods granny smith stay more firm um I'm gonna use a granny smith for this one just because I have extras and I'm going to do that you want to stir that while I'm cutting our apple up. So this well, is an apple core. To do this. You want to do this part? Yeah. This is Jack's favorite part here. I forgot. Sorry. But, okay. Um, I forgot which way to just turn. Yep. Forward. Oh, forward. Yep. Okay. So this is an apple core. We have an Amazon link that is an affiliate link. So if you order from Amazon, it should have been on my computer. Is it not there? I had it open for you to capture it. Oh, okay. Is it not there? <laughs> okay, well, we may or may not have an Amazon link for you. But when you order from Amazon, that does give us a small commission and helps keep all of our free recipes and tips coming to you so we can pay our electric bill and our internet bill and our house payment. Okay, what is going on? One like that. Oh, one. One. you're doing it backwards. No, <laughs> I have it on here. <laughs> Wait, that's an apple peeler or apple, apple core? cores and peeler. Apple peeler is probably what you'll find it under. Okay, you put it on inside. Sorry, I was not thinking there. Oh my goodness. You can do it. Go. I got my apple off center here. It appears. Okay, stop. Hold on. Let me redo my apple. Okay, this is the very first time I've gotten it off center, but it looks like it's, let's see, how should we, well. well should you just try another Granny Smith apple? No, I saying? think this apple is kind of messed up. Just a second. Okay, hold on. You gotta love live TV. It's just so live. Okay, try it again. Okay. Sure, it says push the apple forward back is cute. I'm not sure if that means it. Oh, because they can't see Jack? What? Oh, I bet you that's why. They can't see what? You. Oh. And your handsome face. Smile. Oh, my goodness. This is my Mr. Handsome number four. Um. Okay, so this apple is not wanting to cooperate today. So instead of wasting it, we are just going to continue on. Oh. That little handle in the front makes it suction to the table. Carolina was telling us. It to does it. suction to the table, but my suction cup is broken. Okay. Okay, now, let's see. Should Let we me try think. another Granny Smith apple? Or? No, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this one by hand real quick here. Boop. We put all our trash in there. So when I was a kid, my brother and I used to love to eat the apple pills. And we always thought that was pretty cool. So then you're going to take and put in a half a cup of chopped apple. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Yes, that is a suction cup on the bottom. I broke mine. It's my own <laughs> fault. And see how it comes. It. Good grief. Everything's happening today. So see how it peels apart like that? Then what I do is I break it in half and I 
cut them all at once, just like this, so I do three slices at a time. And then I don't have so much work. Big Bear says he uses a cordless drill and beaver teeth to peel apples. Beaver, beaver teeth? <laughs> He's crazy, isn't he? I think it's all that bacon soap we sent him. What do you think? <laughs> oh my. Is that funny? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me finish peeling this one real quick here since it's just not wanting to cooperate. And I'm just going to cut up a little bit of apple in here. Any other questions while we're other than Big Bear and his beaver teeth? <laughs> so Big Bear, can you actually even do anything with beaver teeth? Just out of curiosity, I knew, know you do lots of things with all the parts of the beaver, but I didn't hear you say anything with the, with the teeth. <laughs> and I know you love to eat it. Okay, so stir, dude. Here we go. Is that good? It smells good. Mmm, it smells it, delicious, it, doesn't it? It's smashing. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a tad more cinnamon because I like a lot of cinnamon in ours. <gasps> there, what do you think about there that? <laughs> what do you think about them beans? Okay, like and not just it? beans. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So does anybody on here have our original terror. cookbook, Not Just Beans? Dining on a Dime. Not Just Beans was the original name of Dining on a Dime. I know, nobody got it. It was supposed to be, you don't have to live on beans to save on your grocery bill, but okay. Oh my goodness, this Let's is see. hard. That's okay. Oh yeah, you got most of it. Very good. I'll just finish off the last couple of stirs here. Don't good show. Don't pick it up. Okay, there we go. Oh, that is smelling so good. All right, so with muffin mixes, you don't want to use a mixer. You just want to use a spoon because you don't want to over mix. Because if you over mix, um, your muffins will turn out tough. So we're going to get some in. Don't judge me by my muffin pan. You want to taste? Yeah. Yes, you can have a taste. The batter. I said butter instead of batter. There we go. What do you think? And this is a great recipe to use. So, like, if your kid eats a half an apple and then they're they don't finish it, this is a good recipe to cut up the other half and make muffins out of it. It's really a good way to do that. You can also take and if your kids don't eat the whole, whoops. If your kids don't eat the whole apple, you can cut it up in little uh, chunks and just keep a freezer bag in your freezer and just add it to them every time they um, don't eat it. And then you'll have enough for a recipe like this or enough for apple bread or whatever. And try to wipe off your muffin tin because what happens is it gets stuff on the edge and it's just, you know, a mess. So, we're going to have Mike work the magic of television here, which I'm sure he's all prepared for. Which part? And, okay, there. You want them about two-thirds full. Whoa, two-thirds full. And then Mike's going to throw these in the oven while I do a couple more recipes. Okay, applesauce muffins. You like those? No. It's already ready. Just throw them in there. And the set batter. the timer for 20 minutes, please. Well, I get a small drink of water. Do you want to make applesauce first or fried apples? Um, I guess fried apples. Yeah. Huh? I fried apples. You want to do fried apples first? Spoonful of this? I mean, yeah, I mean. I mean, I'm another. Oh, yes, in just a minute. Let's do our fried apples first, though, okay? Okay, okay. so for fried apples, we're going to try this again. Hope Floats says I missed it. Are these apple muffins? Yes, Hope Floats. It is apple muffins. And now I'm getting ready to make homemade fried apples. Now, when I make my homemade fried apples, I use both. Go for it. Oh. 
Okay, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why is this not I have enough? never had an issue with this thing. There! <laughs> oh my Do you guys goodness. still love me? Give me a thumbs up if you love me so Facebook will know you love me. Give a heart if you love her. Give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Give me something. <laughs> Thank you guys oh for loving goodness. me anyway. Okay, go for it. Go. Go, go, go. Fast. You can do it. Turn. Turn, turn. Use your muscles. This is... Yay. Thank you guys. <laughs> Mike's telling me that you guys still love me. Go hard. Fast. Go, go. Zoom, zoom. Quick. You can do it. We're almost there. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Yes, we made it. Finally. <laughs> Normally we don't have this many problems. Okay, but it's live television, so, or not, well, it's not live television, so what do you call this? Live what? Live video live, blogging live, something? I don't know, does anybody know what you call this? Just live internet something or another? Okay, so oh, push this push squeezy this thing, pull it out. Boom. Push it in. Go again. One, two, three, go. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> um, you got it. Go. It's twisting around. It'll be okay. It's okay. Wait. Go, go, go. Nope. Nope. You got it. Center? You got it. Go. But trust me. Have faith. I won't lead you astray. I promise. I call it live TV. It says Minuteman Homestead. <laughs> Thanks, Minuteman Homestead. Yeah. Love your show. Live TV. Thanks, guys. Well, I didn't know if it was actually live TV since it's not on a TV. I don't know. I guess at Cunningham's house, our friends from church, I don't know, is Heidi on there? Um, they watch it on their TV, so I guess that would. Okay, so let's do, I don't know, let's do one more. Okay. One more? Yep. Live vlogging. <laughs> yeah, live vlogging, I guess. So I need to get a new phone. Okay. So that I can just set up. Wait. What, what are we thumbsing up? I don't know. Probably people that just caught the part about you asking if they like you. Oh. Um, Everyone's hearing it at a slightly different pace. I need a new phone. Because we just have a cheapy Android. Because I was anti-cell phone because I don't like using cell phones. But they're coming in quite handy now. Um, and you can record lots of things that you're doing around the house and all kinds of things. And so... I need a new phone so I can do more live videos because I got to thinking as I'm sitting here making soap because I just got a huge soap order for Christmas and I'm going to be making a lot of soap in the next several weeks and uh, I thought man I could just sit down while you guys I don't know do you guys want to watch me make soap I don't know is that something that you're interested in I guess let me know if it's something you're interested in or not because give me a thumbs up I guess if you want it because I thought well I could sit here and make soap and just kind of talk to you guys and give you soap yes yes tips questions etc what yes and yes soap and we love you Tara and thumbs up good okay Don't yay sugar cookies. you haven't made that for me yet oh yeah we need to make sugar cookies so I did not bring enough margarine Let's see, Dave, can you run and go get me a margarine, please? I'll have a, you can use, yeah, you can use butter or margarine. Yay! So you guys want me to talk to you about soap, huh? All right. Well, so, hmm. Yeah, we're trying to decide what phone to get because right now I just have a cheapy Android one. But if I, there's Dave. Hi. He's being our tech guy today. So everybody say hi to Dave. Hi, Heaps. So, thumbs up from Hi, I'm using margarine. You can use butter if you want. And put it in here. It's melting. It is really melting. Fast. Let it melt. It's melting really fast. I know. Isn't that great? Ginger says iPad has a larger screen and does the same thing. Ginger says that iPad has a larger screen and does the same thing. Isn't i something expensive though? Yeah. Isn't anything that starts with the I expensive? <laughs> An iPhone, an iPad, I thought, iPod. wasn't it? iMac. No. Penny says iPhone 6S. Uh -uh. Yeah, but I looked at the iPhone 6S and it was like $800. How much?
much did we pay for my phone? 150 or something or 200? This is Do you know? smoky. Do you know how much we pay for my phone, Mike? 200? I don't know. Am I worth our life? <laughs> so, okay, now this is very hot, so be careful, okay? I know. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> uh, so, are, are, is talking to me every day about soaping or cutting up zucchini or whatever worth $800? That's what we're not sure of. $500? Would you guys like it enough for us to spend that much money on that expensive of a phone? Um, so did you see how I just cut that in half for my cord apples in one swoop and then I have my fried apples and I mix half green and half red because you have a little bit of tart and a little bit of sweet and then some firm and then some a little bit less. So just use whatever you want. Penny loves her, oh no, Why is it butter? Penny loves her iPhone and Leona hates her iPhone. <laughs> well Penny and Leona, I think you guys need to get on the same page here because I need to know these things. Android is supreme. My bro my son is telling me Android is supreme. I have no idea what that means. Android. Is that, that like a robot or body. something? <laughs> okay. So Anita asked if you could remind everyone what we're making because she just joined in. Anita, we are making, I just made some muffins that Mike just put in the oven. And Whoa. we just made, or we're just making, um. Fried apples. Thank you, Jack. Fried apples. So back to the really? phone thing. Do you think it's worth me spending five days, hundred bucks on an eye something or another to talk I to you guys every day? See, no. Give me a thumbs up if money. you think it is. <laughs> Ginger says you can get an iPad for less than five hundred dollars. Yeah, but isn't an iPad like huge? Yeah, Jay says track phone at Wally World for twenty bucks, which is great, but not for streaming. I don't think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. It's like it's like well, the one I saw yesterday was like this big. So. That's how big it is? Okay. Oh, turn your head. Let's do this. This yes. is your mother. No. <laughs> oh, my. Well, goodness. everybody likes talking to me, Mom. Mom doesn't think it's worth $500 for a phone to talk to you guys. This wouldn't be to talk. This would be for video. Yeah. If I was live streaming. Okay. So now what you do is I put in butter or margarine. I used margarine, it's cheaper and it doesn't burn. I put in my apples, I put in my brown sugar and my ground cinnamon. And did I put my cinnamon in here? Yes. Did anybody see me put the cinnamon in here? Wait, I saw you put the brown sugar in, but not okay, the cinnamon. Okay, I don't think I put the cinnamon. Okay. Da, ta -da -da -da, ta -da -da. You know what, Jack? I don't have a bowl to serve this in. Can you go get me a white bowl? Wait, like the little big white bowls or the little glass? Bowls? The Cheerios. <laughs> uh, A lot of people saying mom says no, so no. <laughs> the Cheerios bowl. So I don't think Mike got mom's part five on. Did you get mom's part five on YouTube today? He didn't get it on. Um, we will try to get it on tonight, maybe, or, t or I mean tomorrow. But. So tomorrow you'll want to watch YouTube, go check it out because mom is talking about how she left my dad. You can set that one over there. Um, they were decided to separate. She left him and she only had $35 on her. She had no house to live in. She had nothing, no food, nothing. She had all of her furniture though, and all of the stuff from the house, but she only had $35 to rent a house and to move to Colorado. So tomorrow, be sure to check YouTube because that part five is gonna be on there. And it's quite an interesting story. That's Even though I lived through it, it was still interesting. To me, to me it now sort of looks like Sizzling bacon. It does, doesn't it? Did you know this is really good if you make bacon and put it on top with bacon? Oh, yum. Uh, Katie Hill Homestead said if you don't want your butter to burn, add some coconut oil. Yes, Katie Hill Homestead said to add coconut oil. I've heard to add olive oil to your butter and that won't burn. I've heard that. And Wayne's Country Living said is that a new Why wave burner? Why does it mean? No, Wayne's Country Living. It's a cheapy 15 buck thing from Amazon. You can turn so and Bath Family Haven says, my four-year-old heard you say Cheerios, LOL. Yeah, he might. what is your favorite cereal? 
materials, but and I'm seven. Why? Oh yeah, he's seven. And why do you like Cheerios? Well, first of all, the taste, and second of all, because they're heart healthy. They're heart healthy? Yeah. How did you learn they were heart healthy? I re read the box. Very good. See, guys, does anybody remember the cereal boxes when you had fun things on the back of the box? You know, like jokes and mazes and puzzles. Now they have nutrition facts and what's heart healthy and what's not. Does anybody else remember when they had fun things on cereal? They don't they really do. Do they do. do that anymore? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they do, do they? that, but they not very some, often. Like, mazes and time not very stuff. often, that's for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, we used to have this these marshmallow cereals that had like a mm, find something on the back. Ooh, lots of things. Yeah. So everybody remembers those boxes, huh? That's pretty cool. Okay, jo so Joanne was asking if your dad is still living. Uh, yes, my dad is still living, and he's um, in Ohio, but yeah, mom's story is really interesting. You guys will want to, well, it's not just mom's story, it's my story too. I was there. I was a part of this. I wasn't there for the move, but it's my story too. I should have you say Jill and Tara's story and David's story, and actually, is that the one? I don't think so. My brother makes an appearance in one of the upcoming videos. I can't remember which one. Why is it it's not the one tomorrow, is it, Mike? I, Why think, is so. I think it's the one we're going to show on Tuesday. So you'll get to see my my little baby brother. He's so cute. So we tried to kill each other. Penny says, heck, I remember when Count Chocula and Frankenberry and Booberry came out. Oh, I love Count Chocula and Frankenberry and Booberry. Those were my favorite and we never got them because well that was when we had 35 dollars but oh man somebody one time brought those to us and then if mom would find later when we had more money when mom would find a good sale on them oh they were so good oh big bear says my wife got her driver's license from inside the cereal box oh big bear you better be nice to robin she knows when you sleep i know it's not very often but why okay. Turn this off? Just a lot of people talking about remembering finding the toys place. in the box or Not finding the toy in the Yeah, box. remember finding the toys in the box? Wasn't that so fun? Yeah, I remember oh. that. Does anybody oh, else oh, like yeah. to watch Psych? Psych's like one of our favorite shows that we rewatch the whole season every year, Psych and Monk. And remember the one where he turned the box upside down and got the toy out and Gus was really mad? <laughs> New Mexico nurse says uh, that her kids would sometimes pick their cereal based on the games and the toys. Yeah, we did too. Okay, so these are about done. These are um, easy homemade fried apples. Can you see those? Can you Ooh, see the lusciousness? Delicious. Okay, so how you test is I just take a knife or a fork, and if it just goes straight in, they're done. Just straight in, they're done really quick. Okay, now don't touch. It's very hot. Uh, oh, no. Okay, just a second. Oh, no. Why is the cord so hot? Well, the cord's not hot. It's just stuck. Okay, so I'm getting my applesauce stuff ready because I'm going to show you how to make homemade applesauce and I'm getting the water started. Do not touch. So I'm pouring my fried apples in my bowl and so then I just serve this as a as an easy, easy side dish. Oh my goodness, I am not prepared again. No matter how hard I try, I always miss something. BJ, oh, can you grab me a pot holder, please? What? Can you grab me a pot holder, please? See, this is why I had five kids. Five kids is also a retirement plan, in case anyone is wondering. So, getting our house paid off. And, oh, oh, okay. Well, PJ sent me the pot holder. Thank you, PJ. <laughs> um, so, there you go. Easy fried apples. You know what we're having for dinner tonight. Next, we are making applesauce. Yes, they're going to cool for just a minute. Let's, let's Wait, peel these. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, let's peel these first, and then you can have a little bit more. I love, I love peeling these. Okay, so oh, was anybody goodness. here when I had my burn incident on Wednesday? I was. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So, I am happy to report, if you were here for my burn incident, where I poured I 450 this. degree oil all over my hand because my husband told me don't touch it. And of course my chronic fatigue syndrome brain does not register that fast. 
and I touched it and I poured boiling hot oil all over my hand. Thankfully, I have a teensy tiny scar. I kept my hand in ice water for three hours and it was still throbbing when I went to bed. But thankfully, the next morning when I woke up, I did not have Wait, I, I can take this. a scar uh, okay. or any blistering or anything. I was so happy. Big Bear wants to see the apple tacos. Okay. <laughs> Big Bear, Homestead, you need to... Okay, pull it back. No, you got to pull it back. There you go. Big Bear, Homestead, you need to make an apple, or I mean a taco ebook and sell it. That's how you make money doing this. Or you could make um, one stem? Sell well, I guess I could make it and then you could sell it. Is supposed to be there? Okay, go ahead. Is the stem supposed yeah, to be um, there? Yeah, it's going to go in the middle. Go that's ahead. what messed up the other one. It's all right. Just do it. Okay, any questions while we're doing this? Uh, oh, J Shannon says, ouch, egg whites will take the burn out and reduce scarring. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I forgot we're doing a giveaway. Oops. For my soap. For all those people Wednesday who, because we're celebrating. Okay, dude, go back Ooh. again. Leona says her house will be Wait, paid I'm off in just over three years. Oh, she Leona, does. that's great. Um, Let's see. We'll do one more apple for our applesauce. And then, okay, so we're making homemade applesauce now. Jen yep. says, have you thought about moving back? What were we talking about, Kansas? Jen, have I thought about moving back where? Janet. Janet? I have no idea where we're moving back to. To Kansas? No. Oh it's my too hot goodness. and humid. This one Never. is Kansas. Visit our friends there, messing. Kansas has nice people. The city is are great. Wichita was great to get around. Simple. It's cheap. But I decided the other day when I was I have this hobby where I just look at houses randomly. And I was just looking at houses on Realtor.com and realized we could sell this house and be totally paid off with several acres um, in Kansas. Can I have but the heat and humidity are not worth it. I'm sorry. It's just not worth it. Mom. What? Is that still really hot? <gasps> um, just a second. Fan mail. Fan mail? Patricia says, hi, Tar and family. I just had 10 teeth pulled. Watching your show makes me feel relaxed. You guys are the best. Love your wow. show and your recipes. Well, thank you. Who was that, Patricia? Patricia. Well, thank Sorry you. I hope you, yeah, I hope you start feeling better soon. That's horrible. My brother had to have lots of teeth surgery and, ugh, he was always in pain. Okay, applesauce. Dining on a Dime Cookbook, $21.95 at livingonadime.com. Click on the store and you will find it there. Applesauce, page 64. We are back ordered on Dining on a Dime. They should be here in two weeks, so give me until October 1st, please, to get your back ordered copies. But we will send them as soon as they will, or as, I mean, as soon as they come. So we're gonna put our apples in here. Dun, da, 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 da. And just slice them all up and chop them. Be careful, that is sharp on the edge there. I don't want you to actually bunch you just not. I don't want you to cut yourself. Denise says it's on my Christmas list. Um, Teddy says can't wait to get mine. Yay! Okay, so what you do is you put your apples in here and you let them boil until they're tender. Okay, I am just not prepared. What do you need now? Oh, I need sugar. Sugar. I got it. And salt and cloves and nothing. <laughs> Let me get the sugar, guys. Just a minute. Hold on. I'll keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you put your apples with your water and you let it cook until they are tender. Michael, yes. hand me that, that choppy thing for the... Um, Hold on, let me watch all the hearts fly by. Yay, did everybody okay. like Mike's little demonstration there? In there, it's black in the utensils. Okay. Do what? Oh, we can have the fried apple. Oh, the fried apple. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see if it's hot or not. Well, the bowl's very hot. What are the apples? I want to taste test, but I just ate a ton of cheese. Do we want to show the muffins? Yeah. No, they're not very hot, though. No. Okay, try one. Just a minute. Jack's going to try the fried apple. Try the fried apple. What do you think? Put the thing in your mouth and eat it. Now, after the last show, no touchy-touchy. Uh, so, here's the apple muffins, the applesauce muffins. They are super delish. Do you want to leave them here or take Yeah, them because there's one more step on the apple stuff muffins. Wait a minute. So, while my applesauce is cooking here, I'm getting the, the um, put it right here. Nut touch, hot plate. I am putting the, I'm getting the apples tender in the water. No touch. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you, good grief. <laughs> So, you take your muffins, and this is the best part. It's so super yummy. Mm. This is the applesauce muffins. And if you guys noticed, there was no liquid in here, only an egg. That's because it was the applesauce. Yes, you can. So you take your muffins while they're warm. Not quite this warm. Let them cool so you can at least touch them, but they're pretty warm right now. Dip in the margarine or butter. Ow. Let them cool, don't do it. Do as I say, don't do as I do. And then dip them in your cinnamon sugar. And then you have a nice, super yummy, ha! Ah! Hot. Okay, these are really hot. Oop. Okay, so there you go. There's a sample before I burn my hand again. Okay, now, let's set these over here. Wait, oh, warm ones. Okay, how long do we have? Okay. Touch, careful, they're hot. Here, hand me one that's done. We'll let it cool for him. You, me, for Herman. You're Herman, right? Aren't you Herman? So far, I like. Okay, you like both of those? I like this one. This one's really good. Okay, so let this one cool. You really should let them cool 20 to 30 minutes before eating. I'm sure we'll only make it about five minutes because Jack loves them. Well, okay, so for Herman apple sauce, right. you put in your sugar and your cinnamon, and if you want nutmeg and a little bit of salt. And you let it boil till it's tender. Oh my goodness. What do you think? That looks really, really. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I just realized. If you oh guys think this is all cinnamon, it is. it's not. <laughs> I didn't just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't just put in a half a cup of cinnamon. This is cinnamon and sugar mixed. I ran out of my regular cinnamon, so that's what it is. <laughs> I can just see my mom commenting now. Okay, it's just water. It's not hurting anything. So get it stirred. So over on YouTube, they were talking about things that they did as kids. Yeah, this isn't very hot. We're talking about playing in the creeks. Wayne's Country Living said I was never allowed in the creek because of copperheads, but I went anyway. <gasps> oh my. We were allowed to go, but we had them too. Yeah, my cat them in Texas really bad too. What are, and, what are those? They're a snake that's in the water that'll bite you and kill you. What are those? Watermelons! No, no. Dave loves to say watermelons no. from that guy that does the watermelons. Watermelons. No. Okay. Rain Country Homestead said one of. My favorite things I did with my brothers as a kid was making tunnels in the dirt for our toy cars or building dams with the irrigation water and making flash floods. Oh, that's Sounds funny. Like we, we used to torture our Star Wars figures on the grill. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Tell me what I want to know. <laughs> it's really sad because kids just don't play outside anymore nowadays. Now, like our kids, they don't really have anybody to play with. Either kids are in activities all the time or... Kids just don't come out because their parents are working, so their parents make them stay inside a lot, you know? So it's kind of sad. Um, can I, can I you can try. It's, it's, it's not it may bad. not all come out of the muffin thing because it's super hot still, but you can pull it out if you want. It may not come out. Yeah, so it's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, it's sort of. Bad. I don't know. It sort of comes We'd out. We'd like to move back to the country, but... Mostly it comes out, but... Unless someone wants to donate a million dollars. Hey! If you want to donate to the Tar and Mike Fund, you feel free to email me and I will tell you where to send the check. We don't need a million, just a hundred thousand. <laughs> oh, a million would be good. So if you want to donate, 
go for it. I'm, I'm happy for open donations. Don't you think? Yep. Uh, Denise asked, if, is that a Pioneer Woman coffee mug? No, this is not. It's a Kohl's. But isn't it cute? I got it for two bucks at Kohl's. <laughs> Whoa. Actually, I should promote her stuff because she has some really cute things. Sorry, I sucked in an ice cube with my water. Um, any other questions? Uh, just a lot of festive chit chat, but not really questions. Oh. They're talking about snakes and playing out when they were kids on the YouTube side. Dave, can you make sure the oven's turned off because it's like roasting in here? On Facebook, oh. Penny says she already donated. She bought a couple books. Ah, uh, thank you. We'll, we'll take $21.95 donations too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big Bear oh. wants to know if I'm the Muffin Man. <laughs> I live on Drury Lane. <laughs> ah, that's funny. So these are getting there, but it's not quite there yet. And I don't know, it usually takes about 10 minutes or so. I don't know how long I've been doing this, but. <gasps> All right, so you guys are interested in me, like if I'm cutting up apples or if I'm making soap or anything oh. like that, watching me just sit here. It wouldn't be anything fancy. It would only be on Facebook because Mike's at work and he can't get it. This is not during our regular show time. Not during our regular show time. I would do it like on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday maybe or something. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you guys are new because I'm re-announcing it in case people left and new people are coming. But if that's something you want me to do, I can probably get a new phone. Vina says my mom had a pet snake, kept the mother-in-law away. <laughs> Now, Michael, no comments. <laughs> Courtney says, just tuned in. I'm harvesting my apple tree this week. Going to be making tons of pies, applesauce, apple chips, and homemade Pop-Tarts. So that's what I'm getting ready to get to. It's funny you said that because we have, I'm going to let this cook just a little bit longer while I talk to you guys. I'm going to scoot it to the side and, and talk to you for just a minute while that's cooking. Is that out of the way? Jack! <laughs> dealing. Okay, hold on. Let mom sit down for a minute and then you can sit on my lap if you want. He's not eating off the table. He set his muffin down and he was eating the. the so when you don't, when your muffins aren't cooled, they stick to the thing and he ate it before it was cool. So. Okay, so a couple of our tips. Mike's going to put a link on there for our 10 apple tips but here's a few tips for apples baking apples are like granny smith and macintosh and rome they're tartar they need sugar and usually you don't eat them alone because they're just so sour <clears throat> red ones are softer and and the baking apples are harder more firm after like for apple pie and that kind of thing that's why you use them in apple pie because they don't turn to applesauce Red apples are softer when they're baked, so they are better for things like applesauce. And um, some of those would be Gala, Red Delicious, that kind of thing. Red Delicious is the softest, yes. Um, what do you want? Oh, yeah, can you wait till after the show though? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I told you about, let's see, if your kid partially eats an apple, chop it up, and you can freeze it, put it in a, keep a little container of your lemon juice and dip it in some lemon juice and then you can put it in a baggie and freeze it until you have enough to make applesauce or another recipe. Or you can take your chopped up apple for yourself. Yeah. You want me to refill this? Stuff? Sure, thank you. And you can put a little bit of oatmeal, you know, like a tablespoon of oatmeal with some margarine and some cinnamon and sugar and mix it together and put it on top of your chopped apple in a, in a little dish like in a little dish like this and microwave it and then you have yourself a little mini apple cobbler. Uh, let's see, you can also put partially eaten chopped apples in oatmeal or muffins, that kind of thing. You can, sorry, Jack's getting me ice. You can dehydrate apples, which we love to do. We dehydrate a lot. Don't know how the dog got out, but, oh, are you drinking? Okay. Um, we dehydrate and put them in granola or oatmeal, or we eat them as apple chips. 
we just eat them straight as apple chips. That's my favorite way to eat them is with apple chips. Uh, let's see, you can chop them up and put them in pancakes. You can for core, if you just have a ton of apples, like who, I don't, I forgot her name, but like the lady that just said that she has an apple tree. Yeah. Wayne's Country Living says, we used to sink our apples in the pond for the winter. Come spring, they were fresh as daisies. So, wait, who you said it? He's Wayne's Country Living. It makes me wonder if they froze them or... So, Wayne's Country Living said that he put them in the pond for winter, and when they came out... In the spring, they were... In the spring, they were fresh. So, did they freeze, Wayne? That's interesting. Huh. I've never heard of that before. That is a new tip. Thank you for sharing that. I'll have to remember when I have a pond. Uh, let's see. If apples are soft, you know how sometimes when you've had them a long time, they get squishy, and of course the kids don't want to eat them. Nobody wants to eat squishy apples. I have no idea why, but they don't. Like this one's kind of getting there just a little. Well, not really, but when they get really squishy, they're still fine, but people just don't want to eat them. So put them in, uh, cut them up and slice them. Dip them in a little bit of lemon juice, water, and then drain them, and then put them in two cup portions. <laughs> Your mom was saying use blowing bubbles. She says don't let her drown. <laughs> Are you getting bored? <laughs> Kathleen, that boy is starving. <laughs> um, let's see. And then store them in the refrigerator if you want your apples crisp. And that's how you keep them crisp. Yes, what are you laughing at? Is somebody laughing at Just me? Just lots of thumbs up. Oh, thank you for all the thumbs up, guys. And then for baked apples, did you find the baked apple recipe, Michael? Hmm? Did you find the baked apple recipe? Yes. So Michael's going to put the, our baked apple recipe on there. Did I put that in dining? I can't remember if I put, put that in dining. I only wrote it 18 years ago. I don't know why I don't remember every single recipe in here. Oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, did you guys know I wrote it when BJ was born? Oh, wow. Yep. So, dining on a dime pit book, $21.95, on back order until October 1st, you should get it. Baked apples, page 285, is the recipe, and Mike's putting the link from our website also. But, on the inside, when you make baked apples from your dining on a dime cookbook, you can add, aside from just your regular cinnamon and nutmeg or cinnamon stick or something, you can add pineapple, a little bit of pineapple in there. You can add orange peel. You can add ginger, peaches, berries, traditional raisins, and even like honey inside to give your baked apples some a different flavor. I haven't had baked apples for years. Man, we may have to make that. Yes, dear. Wayne's Country Living said the cold water would keep them from turning. We would put them in wire mesh baskets. Huh. So Wayne's Country Living says that when he put his apples, buried them in the pond when he was a kid, it would keep the apples from getting bad. And um, then on high. they would, yeah, it's okay. Just don't, don't, don't. So then it would keep them from getting all smushy. Well, I guess that would be like a refrigerator. And if the fish are alive on the bottom, I guess your pond probably wouldn't freeze through. So it would just be like a cold refrigerator. So I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Where do you live, Wayne? Or where did you live? He had to live up north somewhere. If it was cold enough to put him in the pond, I would. Well, no, not necessarily. Okay. So I'm just kind of chopping these. And it takes, I told... I told you it takes about 10 minutes, but I forgot. That's in Kansas. We're in Colorado, high altitude, so it takes a little bit longer for stuff to boil here. But you're kind of getting the gist here. I don't know. Thank you for all those kisses. Do you love me too? <laughs> yes. You're the most important one oh. to love me, huh? Well, I have five other important ones. Seven, no, six other important ones who love me, huh? All right, so just keep chopping it up. Okay, any other questions or comments? Rough Hume Homestead says, I love baked apples. I do mine in a crock pot. Oh, wow. Okay, so, yeah. Cat Lover says, I want to borrow that kid. He can help me cook and fix mowers. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this off because it's going to take a few minutes because I forgot we have our giveaway to do. 
Oh, 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 KK says I came in late. Are we making applesauce? Yes, we're making applesauce, and I just made apple muffins. So go to, when did we do our giveaway? It was Wednesday the, yeah, Jack, can you hand me the computer? It was, oh, that was my burn day. What was I cooking on my burn day? Oh, tortillas, that's what it was. Okay, so for all of you who entered you, our YouTube giveaway for the soap, because Dave, can you hand me my soap right there? Ugh. Right here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I have all these different soaps. Like this one's peppermint. Can you see it? Am I close enough? What about these two? Yeah, here on the Yep, hold it down just a little. Nice. Okay, so I have like my peppermint, and then I have like oatmeal. And then I have iceberg. This one smells really good. And then I have like my mountain one here. See my mountain with my bear? Oh, See that so big bear? Now that's a cool bear one, isn't it? I need to make another one for you. Actually, I'm getting ready. I'm getting a big order of soap. And this is one that I'm going to be making my mountains with the bear on there. Can you see it? So if you guys want this, let me know and I'll make an extra loaf. <coughs> Email me at editor at livingonadime.com. And I will make an extra loaf to sell to you guys if you want. But what I'm doing is a wholesale order. Okay, so right now I am doing, um, let's see, where did it go? YouTube. Totally forgot. So what I'm going to do is send whoever gets this three bars of my soap my choice but i will send it to you i'm putting the person in right now wait you're choosing or are they choosing i have a random picker no for the which no sets? i'm gonna choose what kind you get i'm just gonna pick i have a whole bunch of these ones that i have like one or two left and so i'm gonna give you three of them go for it jack click click <gasps> carol's cottage so do i dare set my computer over Right there, see Carol's Cottage? Okay, I didn't know if there was anything on there. I shouldn't have I didn't, on there. I didn't see that. That wouldn't be good. No, we don't watch anything inappropriate on the computer, but I meant like passwords or anything like that. So Carol's Cottage, she said she can fold a fitted sheet. She learned that skill so many years ago, but she doesn't remember to wear. Her mom and I are the same age. Yay, Carol, you won. So Carol... Send me your email address, or don't send me your email address. Send me your mailing address, please. And I will send you your soaps that you want. I'm just gonna pick something. I'll make them pretty, like this one's peppermint. Mmm, doesn't that smell good? Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. And email me at editor at livingonadime.com. And you can do it there. And for your applesauce when you're finished. It needs to cook for just a few more minutes. It's not really just not quite soft enough yet. I like it chunky though. I eat it hot and chunky like this. This is how I like it. But Mike and the kids like it softer. You can take a hand blender and yay. Thanks guys for all the thumbs up and hearts. You can take a hand blender, a stick blender, you know, like I use for my soap all the time and just stick it in here and zap it around if you want it really smooth for like a baby. Then just put this in, if it lasts that long, in a jar or a container in the refrigerator. So, we have two minutes left. Any more comments before I go? We are with the American, and not, well, we love them. We love American Homestead, too. I've been watching them for, let's see, three years now or something, two or three years. I love American Homestead. Hello, Zach and Jamie. I love you guys. Um, Scatuli says... Tell Jack we can see his brains rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. The Homestead Network is who we're with. On next is Deep South Homestead. So head over to YouTube and check out Deep South Homestead. They're going to be out live. We're all kind of supporting each other. Mike and I aren't traditional homesteaders, but we do a whole lot of homesteading things like make applesauce. And now we are getting ready to go out and have a fire pit. So that's another homesteading thing because we're going to sit and relax by a relaxing fire and enjoy ourselves here in Colorado. 
and we will be back Monday at 4.30 Mountain Time. And don't forget to check YouTube tomorrow for moms how she made it as a single mom leaving on $35. And don't forget, I don't have all of them here, but Dig Out of Debt is 50% off. Penny Pinch and Mama, 500 Ways I Saved $500 a Month by Mom, half price. And Quick and Easy Menus is half price. And our menus on a dime, which is over there and I couldn't reach it. These are all half price until we're out of print. And then we're not printing anymore. So have a great day, a great night, guys. And we are going to go enjoy all our apple muffins and applesauce and fried apples. Have a great night. Say bye. Bye. Smile. Bye. <laughs> How long can we stand here like this? <laughs>